Joining us to talk about all that, Mike Kanan with the Austin Monitor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right. So let's talk about what the mayor is proposing. Mm -hmm. Seven hundred and twenty million dollars to deal with, uh, well, not deal with, focus on set of corridors in and around downtown. The idea being to sort of fix what's on the ground uh, to the fullest extent possible. All right. And what what does that buy you with that money? You know, it, it buys you uh, a, a series of work on these roads, uh, some sidewalk and bike, bicycle infrastructure, but not nearly as much as I think the bicycle and sidewalk folks would like. Uh, to do that full sort of layout, you'd have to do... 400, they, they want $410 million worth of, of bike and sidewalk projects. Uh, they were a little disappointed last week when they, when they saw that the uh, $720 million didn't include all of the, uh, the project that they had suggested. And on top of that, we're also talking uh, about rail again. All right, so what is the rail topic? It's, so it's about $400 million for a five-mile stretch or so of, um, of, uh, of a line that would go down Lamar Guadalupe. Uh, the Lamar Guadalupe corridor, which had been, uh, of course, uh, a point of contention over the last 24, the 2014 bond. Uh, some folks uh, really wanted that to be the route, and of course it wasn't, and of course 2014 failed. So um, we're back talking about where the route will go, uh, and we're back, you know, if, if we do the math on all this stuff, and this is very rough math, just to be very clear. Yeah. Um, so if we add the mayor's proposal with you know, and assume that there's a little bit extra in there for, for bike and sidewalk to do that whole plan and then throw the rail in on top of there. We're, we're looking north of a billion dollars again. Once again. And the thing was with this rail line, the people who lived far north Austin, south, they were the ones who were voting against it because they were saying, how is yeah. that going to relieve my commute? So yep. are they hoping by tacking on this 700 plus million dollar bond proposal to improve the roads that that would in turn make people more inclined to want the rail you know i i don't know that they know so we're so early in the process right now that they don't i don't think that they've really thought about the political calculus yet we have a number of different proposals floating around we haven't even talked about uh, senator watson's proposal for 35 which wouldn't include necessarily um, bond dollars but it's still out there they're like there are four different ideas about what we want to do and i think that that speaks to a larger issue of course the fact that everybody around here is frustrated about transportation and we you know we want to deal with it in some kind of way but you know in terms of the calculus about what's going to go on the bond um, you know, we haven't gotten there yet, which is, which is, and, and, and we should point out is it, we are extremely late in the year to be having this conversation. Typically, as we reported this morning, this stuff happens over 18 months, and instead this year we're looking at, at it about uh, over four, right. which is a, a really condensed timeline. Right. I mean, they spent years studying the route with the last one around. Yeah. We're running out of time. This is certainly <laughs> going to be a topic we're going to be continuing to sure. discuss as the months go on. Mike, thanks for joining us.